and now move on to teleporting. Teleporter page. Teleport tools. In Teleport Manager, uh, as of um, 29th of uh, October, we can now double click on the titles of each of these pages or interfaces or whatever you want to call them and it's a bit bigger. In the past we only had this tiny little area we could zoom in and zoom out. It wasn't a problem with by scrolling your mouse. It wasn't a problem. Now we've got this nice big map, thank you very much, to actually do all our work uh, for finding people etc. So compare this map to the old map. See you can only see the bottom of the walkway so airfield to the top corner. Whereas now you've got at least twice twice the capacity of the map. Less scrolling, less time wasted trying to find those pesky sheep. So anyway, let's just go to uh, the uh, normal size. Leave that there. Actually, we'll put it in the middle of the screen. Um, in Teleport Manager, on the left-hand side, you have your saved position. Now these are all positions are you've created yourself as an admin. Uh, we'll get on to creating them in a minute. But the one of the uh, useful things about this map is when you're teleporting players around. If you remember Player Manager? In Player Manager, uh, we had the option to select players. Now you can actually select one or more players from this list. Once they're selected in the player manager, come to your teleport manager. And on the bottom left, you'll see teleport selected players. Check that box. And once you double click on this map, everybody that was in that selected list will be teleported with you, the admin. So wherever you teleport, all the other players will be teleported with you from this list. Remember to turn it off once you're done, because otherwise there's some unexpected results. Um, for instance, they've, uh, somebody in the car, never teleport anybody who's in a car or a helicopter. It can, well, it can cost, potentially cause a, a, a big problem. So unselect the teleport selected players, come back to your manager, select all, unselect all. The whole list is clear. Uh, if you'll notice also, there's a little blue number here showing how many players are selected. So just sort of select all, select none, make sure that's in, and close your player manager. Come back to teleport manager. Right, so in here, just by double clicking on the map, you will actually teleport around. You can't see what's in the way. Uh, and and if you've got if you've got a PvP situation uh, occurring, for instance, at the school here, just over there on the left hand side, then you've got a PvP situation or somebody being nasty, or whatever. You want you don't want to teleport into the school. You double click nearby, and then you go in stealthily. You actually, make yourself invisible. Go in. If you teleport in. Uh, right on top of the player, they might shoot you or attempt to shoot you, and you won't see what's happening. Teleport nearby is the best way of sorting things out. Get a lay of the land, identify the issue yourself without being compromised by the players. So I'm just going to go free cam, H to teleport there, and come out of invisibility mode. So uh, you'll see that the cars vanished. Are you wondering about that? I have not set the timer for the cars on in the XML file. So by travelling over 200 metres away, the car has despawned. Remember that, if the car despawns, always check your timers in the XML. Make sure that uh, it, can, it can live long enough. Also, a car that is damaged or a vehicle that is damaged, any way, like a battery or a spark plug, if you travel more than 200 metres away from it, it will despawn. But anyway, back to our uh, teleport manager. So teleport manager is very good for moving things around. You can actually also 
do something similar with ESP. But that's another thing entirely, which I'll, we'll come to in a minute. You're wondering how to get these save positions. It's quite easy. What you have to do, or what you can do, not, uh, not uh, uh, telling you exactly how to do things. It's up to you how you do things. Imagine this is a trader, and I want to teleport here every time when I select one of these teleports. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to my inventory, I'm going to drop an object. This is going to be a large stone. I'm going to just drop it at my feet. And you can see it drops right at my feet. Step back, and I press my key bind for copying position. We copied to the clipboard. I'll pick up my stone. I will now go into Notepad, which I will show you here. And in Notepad, I will paste the information. You'll find that it's identified as stone. Orientation does not matter at the present moment because I'm just creating a teleport point. This position here is. I don't want the brackets, I just want the bit that's inside. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to make a new line. I don't want to teleport 211 feet up in the air. You must change this to a zero. Don't worry about the bit afterwards, that's insignificant. It can be helpful. Just make sure that this is set to zero at the moment. You're teleporting to a location on the ground. I'll show you what happens when you try to teleport higher. So, you've got your new thing, copy it from your notepad, that way you don't have to mess about in game. Then, we come back to the game, we press the home key, we add new position bottom left. In the new position, we'll give it a name. We must give it a name. So, this is uh, building S area. And we put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And you can see, you can't see the name. So we save. No, we don't save. No. No. We paste, control V, delete what was there, control V, the new data we got, got copied from the notepad. Now we save. You can see that you can't read it properly. And this was a problem for a long time, until the 29th. And now you can double click on Teleport Manager uh, title screen. It will open up and you can see your full name and the coordinates now. So, bring that back to normal. Actually move it around the screen if you like. Fine. I'll leave it there. Select this. Click the button box and these options will appear. Delete, edit or add. Sorry about that. We're going to teleport to that location. So we're going to click teleport and we will appear where the rocks were. 0.3. Remember that 0.3? We are 0.333 above the ground. Didn't notice anything. It's such an insignificant amount that it wasn't a problem. Now imagine if this uh, trader teleported to was actually up there on the top. So I'm going to go into free cam mode, which is uh, my key bind is negative, uh, numpad negative. And I'll zoom up and I'll come over here. And then I'll press H, teleport. Zoom it back again. Come on, out of free cam. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my rock again on the ground. Drop the rock. And I'll press star. And I'll have a new set of coordinates. Pick my rock up. Don't forget to pick your rock up. And now we go back to the uh, notepad. Bring notepad back up. And this was all the old stuff. So let's put our new stuff in. We take our new coordinates from the top. Place them on a new line. Now, you're wondering, that was zero before. It was also a different number. It was 211 before. But, yeah. So if you know the, the ground position uh, height, and now you know the height of the thing, you just take one number from another. But on average, you'll notice that the, that the character height is 1.8 meters, or 1.8 units. Let's call it 1.8 units, because that's uh, an easier number. And 
we stand near to where we are, we can guesstimate that this container here is around about two meters high. So that's four meters up. So we'll come back to our um, we'll come back to our notepad. And in here, because we guesstimate, we're going to put four. We're going to guesstimate the height. Four, that's four. We're going to copy all this. And we'll come back in game. And here we add a new position. And we'll give it a new name of uh, the building, test area. Okay. And build. Okay, that's a big difference. We'll delete this. We'll control V. Our new coordinates. We'll save that. And now we have two coordinates. One will be teleport here. This is the only thing I did. Make that smaller. So we teleport here. And now we want to teleport up there. If we got the the, the height right. We will appear. Now, that little jump shows that I was incorrect in my height. You see it flickering. So we edit, edit the position. We need to... We can't... The, the, the line is not big enough to actually uh, see what we're doing. So we'll have to just give this something like that. Now, I, I estimate that that's too low. So we need to actually change this. Well, let's try a five. And we'll save that because we changed the name, don't forget. So we'll teleport here. And five is uh, reasonably good. There's a little flicker there. And we can double click it and that's fine. That is our new teleport point. It's e If you try and just press the star, and you're inside a building. You'll copy the building location. Like that. So it's better to drop an object on the ground. And get the coordinates for the object that's sitting on the ground. Than it is just go in pressing, pressing your copy to clipboard. Let's just teleport over here. And we'll just delete this object. Because that's annoying me. And I'll teleport down there. So that is ba the basics of Teleport Manager and creating a safe position. Unselect, otherwise you'll teleport <coughs> incorrectly. If you've got lots of players selected in your list, you can actually do the same. Do the same thing. You can select a location, and everybody selected, or the nut, or uh, select individuals. Click the teleport selected players, and select where you're going, and teleport everybody to that location. Now everybody will appear on at this location. Uncheck, remember to unselect everybody before leaving the screen. Mistakes happen, and if you're in a rush, it can be quite interesting. Let's say. From here, also, you have the ability in the teleport manager to actually see another player and just double click near him to be near that player. And that's about it, really, for teleport tools. Uh, we shall move on to the next subject, I suppose.